Hey guys, welcome to MRTV, I'm Reaper, and today I'm playing Space Hulk. It's, oh, I say it's an old game, it's not really, but the tabletop version is an old game, which is what I used to play back in school, I used to love it. It's basically set in the Warhammer universe, which is the same one as the Dawn of War. Except I don't think Gene Steelers are in Dawn of War, but that's not important at the moment. Gene Steelers are basically alien from the films, aliens. And you play as a squad of Terminators, it's turn based. And yeah, it's boring and crap. Yeah. Terminator ready. Taking position. Ba basically, we have to. I In this mission, I have to get this guy, the one with the flamethrower, all the way over to here and burn everything in there. And every one of the red flashing things is where the gene stealers spawn. So, no, Captain should not be there. Ah, didn't want to do that. Okay, at least face that way. You go over there, because we need to protect him at all costs. If he dies, the mission fails. And just like the board game, you have to move each one individually. Which does take a while. I can't open the door. This is an airlock, which would make sense actually. Taking position. Come on, mate. Don't be so slow. Walk through the wall. Damn it. Moving to target coordinates. Okay, so this guy's stuck. No, anyway, that's our turn. There. Gene Steelers are starting to come in now. Uh, they don't look like that. I don't know why this shows like that. What? Yeah, sure. Get through the door. I'll we'll put this guy through this door. Just stay there. Right. One guy should be able to take all these out. If I put him in Overwatch. Order confirmed. Holding. Basically means anything that comes along here will get shot at. Without fail. Let one guy stand there, defend him. Put him in Overwatch too. Only until the end of the next turn. Targets, contact. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. This is why we love the Terminators. They just fire. Map and malfunction. Uh oh, that's a bug. That power sword would probably come in handy though. Okay, there's quite a few. Last time I played, there was only like four. Right. Just get him out of the way. These stealers are insane at close combat. So, like, I need them to survive. To not. Uh, to, uh, doesn't matter. Alright. You. Um. Go there. The good part about this mission is, yes, even if on, uh, everyone dies, if I can burn that room, I survive, I complete the mission. So this guy needs to get up there quickly. Put this guy oh, in Overwatch. So while he's on Overwatch, and him. Oh, that guy can't be on Overwatch now. 
Household dice best. Shit, 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 shit. Stop firing. And he missed. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Okay. Kill him. Try again. Spirits guide my fire. Are you kidding me? Are you a fucking idiot? You turn out this is the flamer. Okay, I have an idea. Burn everything. I have got limited ammo on the flamer though, so I have to be careful with that. Right, you move up there. Just kill him as you go. You move there. I'm going to try and push on this bit, but this guy's got to watch here to make sure spawns don't come in from over there. With him. The minute he opens the door, he's gonna get raped. Cleanse and burn. Okay, I thought he died. Multiple then. targets acquired. Fire, 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 fire. Thirty one percent chance of hit. Speed up the animations, this is taking a while. Uh, no, not now. I haven't got enough points to fire, but this could be a problem because they're quick gene stealers. Okay, first off, you just rate all of them. You go overwatch. Just kill everything. And the you the enemy the... will fall before me. I'm gonna walk this guy around here. I need to get that guy into this corridor. And I can burn down there and just walk through there. Don't know why he's facing that way. That's a bit weird. Turn around. And he's dead. This is not going to go well. Yeah, he died. Problem. Hello, right, we're good. Just keep kidding me. My altar has failed. Problem. That's a problem. And he's dead. So it's literally just a flamer. And he's got his back to him. This this won't go well. I can tell you now, this will not go well. You turn around first. Flame fired a lot of them. Yeah, but they survived. How did he survive? This 
Oh my days. Well, that, that just didn't work how it was supposed to. <laughs> it took me seven turns to lose five men. But anyway, yeah. This is Space Hulk. It's not the easiest game in the world, but it is fun to play. And it's got co op as well, which does help. Well, I think it's co op. I think it's, it might be co op or it's multiplayer. One of, it's one or the other. I haven't actually looked into it yet. But I know you can play with somebody else, do something. If it's co op, then. Actually, I can't, I can't see how co-op would work. It has to be multiplayer. Well, one person controls Gene Steelers, one person controls Space Hulk, uh, Terminators. That's how it was in the actual tabletop game. So that's probably how it is on this as well. But yeah, if you like turn-based games and up for a challenge, try Space Hulk. So cheers for watching, guys. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll be back soon with another game. Bye-bye.